Ryan Gill here with Hunt Primitive, where we entertain, educate, and inspire. And on this channel, we do a lot of primitive build and hunting videos, just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. In this video, I'm going to be building what I call a village bow. And I call it a village bow because it is reminiscent of the simple bows used by semi-primitive cultures to this day living in tropical locations around the world, such as the Amazon, Africa, and Papua New Guinea. After European influence, the trade and use of metal tools took the place of the earlier stone tools. The techniques used to build a bow such as this with a single large knife is similar to how we might build a bushcraft bow in America today. Not to be confused with a survival bow, a bow such as this is built with skilled care from a seasoned stave to ensure better performance and longevity for long-term wilderness living. similar to those that would have been traded by European visitors. A heavy-duty three-ply string was twisted from eighth-inch strips of deer rawhide. If you're interested in purchasing a bow, or maybe you just want to learn more about building your own hunting bow, check down in the show notes to see my website, and also check out my book, Building the Snaky Osage, which covers everything you need to know about building your own hunting bow. And also, check down in the show notes to see the links to all the other awesome gear we use in making all of these videos. We are starting this hog hunt in an overgrown bamboo farm and a working cattle ranch. Pigs are plenty, but there is no guarantee for success when taking up the challenge of primitive hunting.
our time in South Florida came to a close, and although we did see about 15 hogs on the weekend, as like happens all too many times in real hunting, we just couldn't reel one in. But fast forward one week later, and my good buddy Donnie Wilkerson followed me around with a camera on a special three-day public land pig hunt. And these short public land pig hunts are often nothing more than a Hail Mary when you're hunting with primitive weapons. But every once in a while, that Hail Mary is caught for the winning touchdown. With the shot entering down through the back and only lacerating one lung, we took up the trail with little blood to follow. We soon found ourselves 150 yards deep into the neighboring swamp, where with patience, perseverance, and a little luck, we found one drop of blood on a trail that ultimately led us to our downed pig. Thanks for watching, and for more primitive build and hunting videos just like this one, subscribe on YouTube or at the link in the description. I also wanted to mention that the behind the scenes text version of this hunt and other primitive hunting videos are going to be featured in Primitive Archer Magazine, so look down in the show notes for that link as well.